Hey guys, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, today is another tea time session. Uh, you got me, Coach Payton, and then Coach Isaiah here. He is actually a professional. He's gonna kind of walk us through his daily routine of getting warmed up and things like that. Uh, I will add in comments here and there. I'm gonna try my best to go along and do it with you guys, be a good example for you. Uh, but we have a pretty good lineup of things to go ahead and get done for today. Just follow along best you can. If you have questions, go ahead and drop them in the chat box and we will do our best to get back to you. And at the end, as always, we'll have like a Q&A and stuff just to talk to you guys, see what you liked about it, what you didn't like, get your thoughts, things like that. Um, that being said though, Isaiah is gonna tell us about the first drill and I'm gonna kind of walk through it with you guys. All right, so the first one for you turning guys, we're gonna be doing the uh, top or um, upper body drill. We're just gonna be rocking into it, okay? We're gonna get our lower half set, and all we're gonna do is get in our top, top half in slot, okay? We're gonna be working on this back elbow, get it nice and tight to our back hip, all right? And then we're just gonna run it through it right there. So it's gonna be one, two, and then we're gonna go ahead and swing, okay? We're gonna be going at about 30 to 40% effort level right now. We're just getting warmed up, focusing on the right technique, and then uh, later on we'll get into some, some harder drills, all right? So go ahead and get started. You can watch Coach Payton as well. I'm gonna show you how it's done. It's a nice little rock, okay? In the top half, engaged, okay? And remembering to keep that back elbow nice and tight to that back hip, all right? Go ahead and get started. Those of you who are still just joining us, we're just working on the uh, top half drill. We're doing a rock drill, okay? Focusing on that back elbow, nice and tight to that back hip. All right, getting us in a nice slot, finish through the swing. All right. Watch Coach Payton. Remember guys, when we're following through after our swing, we want to check ourselves, make sure we're in a good balanced position, right? Our bottom half, since we're not moving it yet, there's no reason why they shouldn't be in the correct position. Okay, and I'll show you the correct position for your bottom half. Bottom half, front leg at the point of contact and throughout the swing, that front leg should be straight, okay? That back leg, you should have most of your weight and pressure on that back foot, all right? You should see a nice L formation in that back leg, all right? After each swing, make sure that we stay balanced. We're checking ourselves to make sure we're, we're balanced. Good, Cameron. Looking good, Colby. Did about five more swings there, just getting loose. Good job, James.
All right. So the next drill that we're going to do is we're going to get two hands on the bat now. All right. We're going to be working on the stop at contact drill. All right. So we're going to go through, through our normal swing, but we're going to stop right after we make contact with the tee. It's pretty self-explanatory. What we're going to do is we're going to swing. And then at the point of contact, you're going to stop the bat and you're going to check your positioning. This back elbow should still be connected to that back hip. Your hip should be fully rotated towards where the pitch is coming from, towards the pitcher. You should be nice and level with your, with your upper half, as well as looking at your bottom half. Remember, nothing's changed, all right? You should still keep that front side straight. Weight back in that back leg. See the L, and you're gonna check yourself, okay? So we're gonna go through the swing, make contact, and at that point, check yourself. Make sure your eyes are behind the baseball, all right? making sure that our bat is nice and flat, making sure that back elbow is connected to that back hip, and make sure those hips are facing forward, okay? Do a couple of those. And pay, Coach Payne will show you what that looks like. There you go. Now remember, we're not swinging full power, right? We're just making contact nice and easy and then checking ourselves. There you go. Nice job, James. Just like Coach Payton. There you go. Try to see if you guys can keep that back elbow connected to that back hip, okay? When we're swinging, when we get through the zone, try to keep that back elbow touching that back hip. Swinging through the zone right there. Yeah, nice job, Ethan. job guys up more good swings there All right, so now we're gonna go one step forward. So now, after we've been focusing on getting that back, that back elbow into slot, that's really focusing on getting to a very powerful position, okay? So we've kind of gone through the motions of warming up, all right? So we're just getting our upper body warm and loose. Then we've gotten into, okay, make sure that we're getting in a good slot, our body's in the right position to take full advantage of my swing with my entire body, okay? Sometimes when our elbows get disconnected from that back side, there's a lot more manipulation and changing of the bat and the barrel through the zone. If we keep that back elbow nice and tight and locked, all the bat can do is stay on the correct plane right here, just like in our warm up drills. Okay, so right here, kind of keep that in plane and keep it consistent. Now we're going to take one step forward from that. We're going to still get to that same position through the swing, but we're not going to finish and stop here. We're going to finish out front, all right? So if you're returning guys, you know that a lot of the times, we talked about this last time, when we make contact, a lot of the times we get excited that we made contact and then we lose our barrel outside of the zone, okay? What we don't wanna happen is we don't wanna make contact and then roll over the wrists, okay? You see that? We 
We don't want our wrist to roll over after contact. We want to keep pushing through the ball, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to swing, we're going to make contact, but then we're going to finish by pushing out front, okay? See how this back elbow kind of makes contact nice and tight, but then pushes forward? That's what we're going to focus on right there, to keep your hands nice and tight inside the baseball, make contact, push forward a little bit, and then we're finishing out front here. Okay? So for this drill, the extension drill, we're going to hit off the tee, and then we're going to finish out here. Okay, we're not swinging all the way yet, but what we're doing is we're practicing pushing through the baseball. Okay, do a couple of those. And Coach Payne will show you how it's done. Gonna make contact and follow out. Yep, there you go. You're gonna just keep pushing forward. Okay, there you go. Nice job. Yep, keeping that back elbow nice and tight inside the baseball. There you go. Some of you guys, it might help to think about having a pizza, right? You have a pizza pie on your hand, you don't want to topple over, Okay, same kind of idea with that top hand. We want to swing and keep it level. Okay, see how my top hand is still open? You can see my palm. That's what we want to work on. We want to swing through the zone, push forward through the zone, and that top hand should still be showing. If you start turning over, all right, then you know you're going to be rolling over the ball. Yep, keep that top hand nice and level. Those of you who have done this before, that is perfectly okay. It's these kind of reps and routines that really make you a great hitter, mastering the skill of just making contact with the ball. Yeah, we're going to keep practicing the same, you know, six to seven, eight drills, because once we master these, then we can move on to other drills once we can get outside and get some, some work outside of the T work. But everything should start at the T with these couple of drills. Yeah. See a lot of good swings, keeping that elbow nice and tight. That's a really good job. Nice job, guys. <clears throat> About five more swings and we'll move on to the next drill. Yeah, guys. All right, guys, go ahead and pick up all the balls, get a quick drink, and then we'll move on to the next drill.
right. So those few drills, however, they might seem a little bit boring because we're not fully swinging through and hitting the ball hard or anything. Those set us up to be successful later on when we're nice and warm and ready to actually swing for real, okay? So getting yourself in the correct position early on, and we, if we work on that first, then we can get to the fun stuff on seeing how hard we can hit the ball and, and where we're gonna hit the ball, okay? So those are really important to get started. This next one is equally as important, all right? We're gonna be working on bottom hand swings only, okay? So for you right-handed hitters, we're gonna choke up on the bat and use our left hand only, all right? You can have your right hand come across your chest, wherever you feel comfortable. We're gonna work on this front side now, okay? This, this front elbow. Worked on that back elbow and getting into the right position. Now we're gonna make sure that this front elbow and shoulder stays on plane, okay? Instead of opening up, all right? Same thing that kind of goes with rolling over that back wrist. That This front shoulder has a lot to do with that, okay? So if I'm swinging through here and my shoulder opens up too early, the only thing I can do is bring the bat over this way and roll over, all right? If we keep this front shoulder engaged for as long as possible throughout the swing, that keeps our bat in a good position, that keeps our hand and back elbow in the right slot the whole time, all right? That keeps us here, pushing through, and then we finish, all right? So we're gonna work on that front elbow and front shoulder now, one-handed drills. We're gonna rest that back on the back shoulder, and all we're gonna do is nice and light swings through the baseball, okay? Really focus on that front shoulder, staying nice and tight and closed, all right? Facing the pitcher, nice and easy, all right? Make sure we're choking up on the bat quite a bit, all right? I know you, some of you guys are, are a, little, a little smaller, all right? These bats are pretty heavy doing one-handed, so make sure that we're choking up, all right? We're not trying to swing hard or anything, this is just about keeping the bat, all right, and the direct path to the baseball and keeping our shoulder nice and, and, and tight. Finishing all the way through. Okay. There you go. Whole point of this is to make sure that front shoulder doesn't open up. So don't swing with your shoulder, okay? We're swinging with our tricep, all right? This elbow is gonna be extended, but we're not going to open up our shoulders to get the bat around, all right? Wanna keep it right here, boom, okay? What we don't want to see is opening up to swing. There you go. See how Coach Payton, his, his front shoulder doesn't open up the swing. Okay, he's not flying open. All he's doing is nice and easy right here. Boom. Right to the ball. Boom. There you go. Nice job. There you go. Remember, the bottom half stays the same. All right, same thing that was from the beginning. That front half is going to be nice and straight. We're going to finish through all the way. We're going to swing through. This is how my lower half body should look, okay? Front leg straight, back leg at a nice 45 degree angle, most of my weight back. See us leaking forward and that back leg is straight, you know you're doing something wrong, okay? Make sure you got that weight back, all right? Over that back foot, that leg. Good job. 
job, Andrew. All right, now we're gonna move on to the opposite hand, okay? Now we're gonna choke up same as before, but instead of using that bottom hand, we're gonna to rotate to the top hand, okay? The so same thing, this left hand, or you left these the right hand is gonna go across your chest. And this is gonna make it even harder, okay? This is gonna test you to see if you can keep that back elbow nice and tight, top hand, or yeah, top hand nice and flat and open, right? Because if you see the ball, if you're making contact and rolling over, the ball is going to go straight down into the ground, okay? To really try to keep it level through the zone, if you want to hit it straight back where it came from, this is going to really test you to keep that back elbow nice and tight and that hand, op not open, but uh, uh, palm side up, okay? So another, we're just going to swing nice and easy, back elbow nice and tight, swinging all the way through, okay, with that top hand. Yeah, nice job, Cameron. This one's gonna be a little bit tougher. Yep, keeping that elbow nice and tight, connected at the hip, connected at the hip. Something I noticed with this drill, it's real easy after making contact or while you're making contact to start turning your wrist the other direction. Just some reason for this drill, it's natural to kind of want to do that. Still practice on pushing through that wall all the way around. Don't let yourself get in bad habits. Uh, five more swings there, and then we'll move on. Nice job, guys. All right, go ahead and pick up the balls, get another drink, and then we'll move on with Coach Payton. All right, so Coach Payne's going to talk on directional hitting, okay, and where we're going to want to hit the ball in relation to where it is on the plate and where it is in the zone. And then he's going to go through um, some drills with you to help practice that, all right? All right, so this is called the nine-point hot spot, or at least that's what I like to call it, um, because, as you guys know, three different zones, inside, middle, outside. 
Um, in each of those zones, we have different timings, timing issues that we need to correct while we're practicing. But on top of that, there are nine different hot spots that that, boy, that ball can come in. You can have an inside pitch come in high, you can have an inside pitch come in low, you can have it come down the middle, same with outside and in the middle. So this drill is really focused on owning that entire aspect of the plate while you're up there at bat hitting. So real quick, just for those of you who don't know, outside we're letting the ball travel just a little bit deeper. We're not out here trying to reach for an accident and roll over. We're letting it come to us right about here. We're gonna send that down, I'd say first base side. Um, down the middle, we're meeting it right out in front of the plate. Boom, sending it right back up second base. Well, actually right, right back to the pitcher, that's the easiest way to remember it. And then for inside, we're out here nice and early. Boom, sending it down the third base side. Um, inside's a tough one just because if you don't meet it out there, what can happen is you can get pinched up and this is a really awkward angle to try and hit that ball. So we're gonna start with outside. We're gonna have outside set up down low. We're gonna take a few with that. Then we're gonna mix it up and put it in a different spot. Um, and this is really just to get good practice at seeing the ball in all kinds of different weird awkward angle, angles. Um, some of these pitches may be tough for you, which is okay. Now you know what you need to work on. Some of these pitches you may realize, wow, I can really crush this ball, which is good. You wanna know those strengths and weaknesses about yourself. Um, that being said, we have Isaiah take a few off the tee, and you guys can go ahead and watch him and see what you need to do. So remember, make sure you guys know that we're going to have to move our, our net um, based on where we're hitting this ball, right? So if we're hitting this ball deeper in the zone, we're trying to take it towards for righty's second base or right center, we need to make sure that we're moving our net over, okay? So that's where our target is. That's where we want to be hitting it towards, okay? All it's going to be is you're going to have this normal swing, just like you're swinging up the middle, okay? But we're just going to move that tee a little bit further back in the zone. Same swing as usual. You're just going to be catching it a little bit further back, okay? And then from that point, these balls should all go towards right center or towards the second baseman for you righties, or left center, or shortstop for you lefties, all right? Same swing as always, all right? Trying to get it into that right center gap, all right? I'm going to go ahead and show you from a different angle as well, just to see it better. All right, So from this angle, you can kind of see that when I'm making contact, my circle is no longer up the middle, okay? That's not where our target is, all right? Our target's a little off center towards right center, okay? So it's gonna be the same swing, like I would be hitting it up the middle, but since it's further back in the zone, the angle of the bat should push it towards right center, okay? Remember keeping those, that back elbow nice and tight to your hip. There you go. Nice job. You guys are going to practice on the tee every day. This is a great thing to do for yourself just to switch it up and make it a little bit more challenging making sure it's not in the same spot every time.
There you go, Dash. Yeah, you're killing that ball, Kai. Man, some really, really good looking swings. Looks like most of you have been practicing. All right, feeling like you guys are pretty comfortable with outside now. So we're gonna go ahead and do middle up high. Middle up high can be a little bit tricky getting those hands up there, but middle up high, is exactly what you think it'd be. Pitch down the middle, so set your tee up right around the front of the plate or on top and uh, go ahead and raise it to about just under your chest. Isaiah will show you what it looks like on him. And again, you might need to move your tee back towards the center, line it up the net with your tee. We're working on that high pitch. What we don't want to do on these is you shouldn't feel like you're swinging up at the ball, okay? Your hand should be at a good position, all right? Up here by your eyes. And when we're swinging, all we're thinking of is flattening that bat out, okay? So your back elbow is not gonna be down here necessarily at your hip, but it's gonna be down at your side, okay? So all this is gonna do is make sure we're getting on plane with that baseball. So when we make contact, we're not popping up or we're not getting under it to the point that we're not gonna be able to hit it when it's coming a little bit faster, okay? So these should not be super high pop-ups. They should be kind of still line drives at the same level as where the, the T is. Okay, so we want to make contact on playing with the ball. Keep in mind, we're not trying to dip our shoulders to go get that ball, because all that's going to do is give us those flaky pop-ups. Still trying to stay as level as possible. Get your hands up there. And keep this tight to your body all the way through. Good, looking good. Hopefully you guys are getting in a pretty decent amount of reps. Hydrating as well, that's always important. All right guys, we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna do the opposites. So now you, you've been working with high middle, now we're gonna go low middle. And um, low middle, keep, keep in mind we're not to drop our hands to go get that ball. We're going to go down and tack it with everything. Everything's got to be as consistent as it was before. We're getting a little bit lower, bending our legs, getting down there to go and attack it. So that way we don't have to drop our hands and go like that. It's going to cause huge rollovers and all kinds of other problems like being imbalanced and stuff like that. So low down the middle, set yourself up, maybe even take a longer stride and go down and get that ball. Hopefully by doing this drill, you guys will be able to figure out what your favorite pitch is, what to look for when you're up to bat. 
It's a very important aspect of the game, pitch hunting. Nice, nice. Make sure we're still keeping our hips and everything else involved as well. No matter what pitch it is, it's going to be the same concepts, just different timing usually. Looking good, Mr. Crutchunis, I think. Not sure how you say your last name, but looking good. Yeah. It's a great day for some baseball, nice and beautiful out. We're gonna go ahead and switch it up to the inside pitch now and we're going to keep it right at the middle right at the belt line i'd say oh um, that's a pretty ideal pitch for most of us um all we're going to be doing is keeping everything tight and inside and what you're going to want to do is you want to set up the tee out in front of you not back here so we're not getting pinched up staying tight right pushing through that ball just like we practiced earlier now you guys can apply all these concepts and go full motions have at it middle inside for some of you righties this is going to be one of your favorite pitches lefties too lefties too Guys, make sure when we're doing this inside drill what we don't want to happen is we don't want to pull these down for you righties down the third base line okay really challenge yourself with this inside pitch, staying inside the ball and trying to drive it for you lefties around left center, okay? We don't want to pull too fast and get out in front of it too far and pull it down the line. If we're working on staying still inside the ball, that's one less pitch that can beat us, okay? So if, we, if, we're, if we're really focusing on doing everything correctly and staying inside the ball and we're fooled on a pitch and we do meet it a little bit out in front, then those are the ones that go down the third base line. But for most of these, we want to try to drive them into the big part of uh, the outfield, okay? So left and right center for you right and lefties, okay? So really focus on trying to keep your hands inside and pushing it to left and right center. One of the best players to watch who's really, really good at doing this is Mike Trout. You guys it's, don't have to be Angels fans to watch him. He's just a fun player to watch. He does really, really great things at the uh, game of baseball. Good to see you, Tanner. All right, guys. We're going to close this up. 
Uh, that doesn't mean you guys have to stop. I uh, encourage you guys to, it's a beautiful day. Go ahead, keep taking some swings, find somebody to play catch with, uh, get some baseball in today, all right? Uh, take advantage of the beautiful weather. Um, I, really great things. I saw a lot of good swings today. I really appreciate you guys uh, joining in. I'm gonna unmute you uh, so you guys can talk to Coach Isaiah and Coach Peyton. Uh, anything you guys want to share? Questions, comments? One second. Um, all Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank 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 you. Hey, 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 I think we set a new record. We had 30 participants at one point. So good job. Hey, round of applause for you guys. All right, keep working. Keep working. Thank you. Morrow's pitching and catching. Uh, first 20 minutes, Coach Isaiah is going to go over some pitching drills. And then the last 20 minutes, Coach Peyton will go over the catching. All right, so register for that. Go ahead and register. How soon? Thank you again. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I like turtles. Someone said I like turtles. What? I'm going to get it. Okay.